everybody welcome back to my channel it has been so long since i've actually sat down and filmed a video for you guys so i wanted to do that today if you are new to my channel my name is sophia thank you so much for clicking on today's video so excited to be sitting down and just kind of chit chatting with you guys um, and talking about a couple of my favorite bronzers. This is actually a series I kind of want to start on my channel where I talk about like five of my favorite products, whether that is lip products, br um, bronzers, blushes, foundations, but like my top five in each category. Let me know if you guys like that idea, if you guys want to see like my top five products. I'm constantly trying new products, so I'm always, you know, finding different things that I love and different things that I don't love. So if you guys want to see my recommendations with like my top five like favorite products just let me know and let me know what you guys would want to see next thank you guys so much for clicking on this video um we're going to talk about five of my favorite bronzers um clearly i am very pale right now so i love to use bronzers i love to bronze my skin i do a lot of self tanning during the winter um and i'm going to show you guys my favorite bronzers for winter fall spring and summer so like all of the seasons what i use in what seasons and what i gravitate more toward like in the summer when i have more of a bronzy or tan i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you are following my social medias always link down below but i'll put my instagram up on the screen i'm the most active on there and sorry i've been a little mia lately I've mentioned it before in a couple of my videos, but I did have an internship that is coming to an end actually this week. So I'm going to be f much more free, have a lot more free time. So I'm going to be filming a lot of videos and yeah, I hope you guys are ready for all of the things that I'm going to be posting. If you guys want to see my top five favorite bronzers, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start with a new bronzer. This is the newest bronzer in my collection and I'm like obsessed with it and pretty much every single person i think on youtube or in the makeup industry has this bronzer i'm just kind of late to the game it is the chanel soleil de tan bronzer this is a bronzing cream yeah it's a soleil tan bronze um it just looks like this it comes with a little packaging on top and that is the product inside it is actually so much product like you don't really need that much because it spreads out so much and it does have a smell so if your skin is sensitive to fragrance i'm not sure what type of fragrance is in this but um it definitely does have a smell so keep that in mind if you haven't purchased it before but this is my favorite cream bronzer um i love this stuff i've only used it in the winter so i'm not entirely sure how it will look on a summer tan i feel like it'll probably be pretty good it isn't over the top bronze and it doesn't make you look orange which is really nice um i've been struggling trying to find the right brush for this bronzer so if you guys have a brush recommendation for the chanel like cream bronzers let me know because i would really love to try something different than what i'm using right now overall though this is a great bronzer it's so universal like i feel like this would look good on the palest of people because I'm pretty pale right now like I literally match my headboard like I'm white <laughs> this is like the palest you know I get and even this bronzer looks so good on my skin tone um I have like a more of an olivey you know undertone so I don't know I'm obsessed with this this also like can we just talk about the packaging like gorgeous and something that's really cool is it comes with a Chanel box um so if you like to collect boxes and use them as decoration you will get an actual like Chanel box that's about this big my boyfriend actually got me this for i believe it was christmas and um he knew like i wanted the box so he brought the box and everything like with it yeah i overall like obsessed with this bronzer i think it is the best cream bronzer on the market so i have two bronzers from the drugstore and the first one is one that i've been using pretty much every single day um it's kind of my everyday bronzer lately and that is the elf contour and bronzing palette contouring blush and bronzing palette um so this is in the shade saint lucia and i've been obsessed with this shade it does have a little bit of a shimmer i don't know if you guys can really see it but the peachy blush um definitely has a shimmer but i don't really use that one that often it is really beautiful but um this bronzer is so gorgeous it's more of a cooler undertone which i kind of like on my skin tone this one is beautiful so inexpensive i mean it is from elf and it works incredible literally so convenient too that it has a blush but the bronzer is beautiful let me swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys so if you guys can see that's like kind of the color of the bronzer it's super pigmented you really don't need a lot 
um, which is really nice with, you know, a more inexpensive bronzer because you kind of feel like you're going to be lacking in that pigment category, but actually this one is like amazing. So I definitely recommend this one. Um, it looks great on, you know, paler skin. I've never tried this when I have a tan, like a natural tan. I've used it when I've had a self tan and it like, it just looks beautiful on the skin. So I really like this bronzer. My other favorite drugstore bronzer is, of course, the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Clearly, you can see that mine is very loved. Um, this is definitely more of a bronzer that I gravitate toward in the summer. I have the shade Deep Bronze, and I also have like the original one, um, but this is a go-to for summer. Not only because it smells like, like a tropical spa, it smells like like coconut a nice resort it smells so good it's such a smooth bronzer it doesn't look patchy on the skin which is something that i really struggle with because i don't always put um foundation powder the whole nine yards sometimes i just put bronzer on and it can kind of like stick to like different parts of my skin um i'm not i you know just from like having moisturizer on and stuff like that so this is a really nice bronzer because it's not patchy at all and it looks like a like you got an actual tan it doesn't look like you you know covered your face in bronzer so so i've been loving that my next bronzer is something that i never thought i would really talk about because i feel like everybody owns this bronzer and i just feel like it's good well i always used to think like it's good it's not great you know it's just a very mediocre overrated bronzer but let me tell you i have completely changed my mind um, I am obsessed with the NARS Laguna bronzer. I know it is such an OG bronzer, but it is so good. Like if you have this in your makeup collection and you haven't been using it in years, pull it out and use it. I'm telling you, it is so good. The thing I love about this bronzer and the reason why I use this bronzer a lot um, is when I'm pale, it doesn't, I can put it like all over my face. Like I could literally wear this as like a powder foundation and it just makes me look naturally glowy like that natural glow tan it doesn't make you look like you're wearing you know orange bronzer and you've like overdone it it's a great contour shade but it also is a great bronzing shade which is what i really like and it looks so good on pale uh you know tan skin like it doesn't really matter this is such a good universal bronzer and if you don't have this like you definitely need to go pick it up i mean it is an og classic bronzer i feel like literally everybody has it but it's so good and you definitely want to buy this if you don't own it it has no scent but let me swatch this for you guys in the back of my hand i will say the only thing about this bronzer is it is a little on the powder powderier side so that's the shade right there. It looks a little orange. I mean, it makes a great inner corner or makes a great uh, crease color. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like I was really missing out uh, when it was first so popular because I didn't own it. And I recently um, found this in my makeup drawer and I was like, I got to try it. And I'm like in love. So the way I like to use this is with a big, um, a big powder brush. And I kind of take my bronzer in this section here a little bit on the forehead the chin and i do a little down the nose and the bronzer in like that kind of section makes the cheekbones look a little higher so i've been using that trick i learned that on tiktok but um yeah i've been loving the nars laguda bronzer it's definitely a go-to and a classic and it looks beautiful on so many different skin tones my last favorite bronzer which i was very hesitant about this one to begin with but I am now obsessed with it is my go-to summer bronzer and that is the Hula Caramel Bronzer. Um, I was a die-hard fan of the, what is that, just the Hula, the original Hula ben by Benefit Cosmetics bronzer, but this one definitely has won my heart over. I believe it was Stephanie Leda, um, SMLXO, who had mentioned it on her channel one day and I went out and bought it and now it is my go-to summer bronzer. Like. You can tell it's not my bronzer right now. Um, and it definitely has more of a red um, terracotta undertone, I would say. It's very caramel. Like, think caramel apple, like that deep caramel color. Like, that's the bronzer you're going to get with this. So, if you don't get very tan in the summer, I would not recommend this. I just think it's going to be an orange mess. This is a medium deep bronzing powder. Um, and it is a matte bronzer, which is something that I really like. 
Um, a couple of these bronzers do have shimmer in them and that's beautiful too but sometimes a matte bronzer just looks you know a little bit more like contour and you can contour with it this i wouldn't necessarily contour with but i do like it for the aspect of having that all over bronzy look in the summer like i said a big powder brush dust it all over those you know um, areas that I mentioned before and this is just an overall beautiful bronzer. I don't own the Benefit Hula Bronzer. You should definitely pick that up first. Um, that is more brown. This is more orangey in a bronzer and I know that's not the right word because that sounds like really bad. Like that doesn't sound like a color you'd want in your bronzer but if you have that deep olive skin this bronzer looks amazing. It's kind of like you laid out in the sun all day and those natural spots got you know nice and bronze i even take this like down my chest and i like put it like on my like you know contour areas down here it's just beautiful like this is hands down my favorite summer bronzer ever so yep this is the hula caramel bronzer and it's perfect for summer and that is it for my five favorite bronzers i know this was a very quick video but that's kind of how i want these videos to be so you guys are able to watch something you know under 10 minutes or so and get the products that i'm loving so then you can go out and you can purchase them yourself i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you guys don't miss any of my content make sure you are following me on social media like i said in the beginning of the video linked down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you next time bye